Here we are. All right. Thank you so much, Janine. Janine and I have been doing this a really long time. We sleep in a hyperbaric chamber, right? It's been a long time, really long time. Thank you so much to the National Hispanic Media Coalition for this really special honor. I want to thank my husband for being here with me today. I have the most supportive family. I could never do what I do for all these years at the hour that I do it without them having my back every single day, so I appreciate it. Thank you to our WNBC management, our team, Eric Lerner, our general manager, and his team, John Durso, Ida Rosario. So nice to have you all here with us today. I'm proud of what we do on the air every single day. I wish my mother was here to see this. I really do. She would really love what the National Hispanic Media Coalition is doing to make sure Latino voices are heard. She's not dead, she's working. She works in White Plains. She couldn't have gotten here in time. But she would have loved to meet all of you, so next year for sure. You know, being a Latino journalist in mainstream media, it's, it's a unique thing, right? Because not only are you telling stories, you have the added component of representing a whole community. And I take them with me. I take them with me in everything I do. And with that, there is a sense of responsibility as well to actually take them with you, to uplift, to mentor, to teach, to include. And on the issue of inclusion, right, equally as important is Latino representation in storytelling. That's why we're here. There needs to be more of us telling the stories. There needs to be more of our stories represented. And most importantly, there needs to be more of us deciding what stories will be told. Because see, that's how we're portrayed accurately. That is how we're shown fairly. That is how we get the attention and the respect that is proportionate to the percentage of the population that we represent here and around the country. You know, Janine talked about Puerto Rico. I was there last year, uh, right after Hurricane Maria struck, and, and I, I was amazed by the spirit, the resilience of, of my people. I mean, I've, I've never seen strength like that before. People who say, you know, I lost everything, pero gracias a Dios, I'm still alive. Gracias a Dios, my kids are okay, you know? And, and, and that's what it was all about. And I was amazed and proud to be part of that community. I was also very proud, quite frankly, to be a WNBC team member there because not only were we sent there, not only did our management send us there, but made a guarantee and a commitment that we would do the story of Puerto Rico's rebuilding after Hurricane Maria every single day, every single day. And we have. We established the San Juan Bureau, which no other New York station had done. And I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. We went back there just a few weeks ago to see the rebuilding. I can tell you how privileged I feel growing up here, having grown up here, and to be able to report here. I mean, it's, it's, it's just mind blowing to me that, you know, the 30 Rock, the building that, that I would see when I was a little girl, that I get to walk in there every day. These communities, these neighborhoods, these people that I know my whole life. Sometimes, though, when you know so many people, you know, you do a story and you're like, I swear, if that's the Jason I grew up with in that surveillance video. <laughs> It hasn't happened yet, hasn't happened. Not yet, not yet. Well, the truth is, the truth is that next month will make 20 years that I've been at NBC. Thank you, thank you. I am, I am so proud, so proud of that. I'm so thankful. Some little kids say that they wanna be an astronaut or a doctor or a firefighter when they grow up. When I was little, I wanted to be a TV journalist. I just did, I don't know if that's weird, but I was a little girl pretending to be a reporter. I can't imagine doing it anywhere else. To be able to represent the Latino community is something that I embrace. I embrace it with pride. I embrace it with hard work every single day. And the best compliments to me are when my fellow Latinos say, thank you for representing us. Thank you for showing what we can do. And I always say, no, thank you, because I stand on your shoulders, and I'm a reflection of you. And where I go, we all go. So thank you all for having me today. I really appreciate this honor. Thank you.